Now that we're feeling confident with pulling our spray skirt off, we're gonna get in the habit of getting into a tea rescue. What is a tea rescue, I hear you ask? Well, it's a good question. A tea rescue is where you put your boat really close to someone else's boat, and you actually form a tea with your boats. And what you actually do is to push off the nose of someone else's boat to come up. What you want to do is to have your friend come up to you with their nose of their boat at your hip. I want you to grab onto the nose of their boat and then go over and come up. After you've done that, go over and go completely upside down, holding onto the nose of their boat and then pushing down, flip back up. Next up, we're going to reach underneath the hull of our boat and I want you to tap the sides of your boat three times. That's a bit of a signal to let everyone know that you're upside down in your boat. Then I want you to rub the sides of your boat three times, all the way up and back. That's so that we can get in a habit of feeling for where the other person's boat is for a tea rescue. Remember to relax. If you have any problems, all you have to do is to pull on your ripcord and swim. practice a few things with our hips. Our hips are actually fairly important in a kayak. What I want you to do is just to sit in your boat and try and make waves by rocking your boat side to side, side to side. That's the start of a hip snap. This is a very important thing to know when you're kayaking. It's the start of what we need to know for rolling, for strokes, for bracing. So we want to make sure that we're getting good at these hip snaps. Now don't tell anyone, but here's a little secret that I'll let you in on. To practice your hip snap, what you can do is to go over to someone's boat or the side of the dock. Now with two hands, put it on their boat or on the side of the dock. All right, next off, just go over using your two hands and then push yourself back upright using a strong hip snap. What we're looking for is to use more hips and less arm strength. In fact, the less arm strength you use, the better hip snap you've got. Now, your head wants to be in the water until the last possible moment. And as you come up, you actually want your head to be facing towards your hands. This is called a head dink. A head dink is where you get your head to go from one shoulder to the other. Okay, we're gonna try and get used to using less arm strength. We're gonna do that by actually going over using two hands, but coming up using one hand only. 